Hi everyone, it's Eric Goins from Flywheel Studio here. I have a slightly different video than what we normally do with just tips and tricks for Adalo and kind of detailed how-tos. And I wanted to do a two-part series on things that you can do in Adalo and what type of apps you can make. And then the second part of this, which will be a second video, is what you cannot make in Adalo. So First thing is, this isn't comprehensive, okay? I have seen so many people come to me with new ideas that of things that I had not thought of that we can do in Adalo. So by no means is this a fully extensive list. It doesn't mean that your idea doesn't work. Um, in the second video, I'll tell you some of the hard things that we can't do or that you probably shouldn't do in Adalo. So that might also help you because you know, if you can't do it, then you know that, but everything else is probably roughly possible. So let's go through first some of the things on Adalo's website so we can show you that. And then let's go through the app store a little bit and walk through some apps in there and see what we can and can't do. <clears throat> so first, Adalo is best suited for presenting structured information and allowing users to interact with that information. That's kind of the, the really short version I have for you here. So things like, you know, um, sharing content where you have a list of content. Um, you know, if you're familiar with Adalo, we present majority of our information in lists. And then we have a detail screen after that list screen. So anything that you can put into a list, whether it's projects, events, posts, photos, items for purchase, uh, like this is a restaurant app. It could be workouts, it could be services. All of those are great in Adalo. You can have a list and then you can have somebody check out or interact with that. You can provide details. We can also uh, collaborate across different things and integrate a chat into Adalo. Um, <clears throat> in terms of lists, we can have appointment slots, we can have classes, we can have time slots, uh, bookings. It, all of that will fit into Adalo, and then you can have people, um, you know, book something, and it will become their slot, so to speak, or they can purchase an item. Um, you know, this is uh, collaboration and communication. We can do exercises again, a, a list of workouts, or you could have a list of courses that has a list of workouts that has a list of exercises, and you can break those all down. Um, you can, you know, put in content in terms of images that, that show the exercises for each workout, um, all kinds of information that people can interact with and use. But Adalo is not great for things where you're trying to do complex manipulation of information especially when it's not just information. So I'll, I'll get to that more in the second video. But what some of the most common apps we see are right now restaurant apps. And that's been just because of COVID, I think, that so many restaurants are looking for a mobile first solution that it's probably one of the most common things is to see restaurant apps. The second one is we're getting a lot of local delivery services. Um, at, again, with COVID, as people are trying to support uh, restaurants and local businesses, we're getting a lot of apps for deliveries and virtual class bookings and virtual classes and courses. And then we are getting a lot of virtual fitness apps as well. So for personal trainers that have now gone digital and remote, um, we're seeing a lot of uptake and interest on our end at, as an agency and as a studio for that type of information or for those type of apps. So let's go to the showcase here. This is a great place for some uh, inspiration, okay? Because it, it's it's more detailed and great design. I mean, as you can see with uh, Chara and Smart Dish, there's all kinds of great ideas here. Um, so things like, I don't even know what the booze app is. Um, but again, so this is something where you are presenting information in a way for users to interact with it, right? So you have a list of booze, then they can click on it and they can, you know, say what the price should be of that. Um, that's a great way for, to present information and, and allow users to interact with it. Cricket scoring, again, 
presenting information, allowing users to interact with it. Real estate listings, again, a list of real estate listings. People can click on any one, see the details of that listing. Let's see what else is here. Uh, running, we've seen a lot of running apps. There, this is a weakness in Adalo that there's no native GPS right now. That's going to be changing very soon. We'll cover that in the next video. Um, yeah, it, it's pretty consistent. I mean, everything that you're seeing here on almost all of these apps is going to be a list function that will take you to a detail screen. Adalo provides you some templates for this. So the appointment app, coaching, ordering, Facebook, you can see all these here. Again, every single one of these you see is going to be a list, a list of items, a list of vibes, uh, a list of products, a list of blog posts, a list of real estate listings. It's always that list in that detail screen. So let's go to the app store really quick. And this is my, uh, you know, my web version. So let's hop in here and we're going to look at some of these and see what you could build. Okay, so you are not going to be making gifts in Adalo. You probably would not want to do that. You probably could do that with a third party um, integration, but I don't think that this is the best application for something like that. Um, let's see what you could do here. Almost nothing in this entertainment thing. Um, to, you know, and again, this is in my next video, but entertainment and games is just something you do not want to do in Adalo. Health and fitness. Um, this one looks like something you easily could do. You can put audio in Adalo and have different audio tracks. Easy to do. Menstrual period tracker for sure can do that. Uh, breath ball. I'm not really sure what this does. Uh, yeah, you, maybe you can do this. I think it probably depends on how you do it. Um, let's see. Habit tracking. Yes, you can do this in a dollar. It's kind of difficult. It depends on how you habit track. Um, you know, for a dollar, we don't run, um, we, we don't really have a very good, uh, system for running scripts. So if you need to run scripts to generate insights about the habits, then uh, that this probably wouldn't work. But as long as you're just tracking by days, that should be really easy. Any type of monitoring where you're, you're trying to capture something every day, great, great in Adalo. Um, yoga definitely can do. Um, there are a ton of great workout apps out there. Weather, you can do weather. Adalo has custom APIs. You can connect that to a weather source, um, you know, whether it's weather.com or, or some other third-party API service, and then you can showcase weather based off the user's location. Um, currently, they have to provide that, but in the future, you'll be able to do that automatically with GPS. News, Adalo it would be great for news. Um, it wouldn't be great to try and integrate it with other things like you're not like pocket. You're not going to integrate this with an iPhone so people can add things to a folder on a Dalo. That's probably not going to happen, but you definitely can uh, have a news app or a stock market app or a news feed. Um, Twitter, you could easily build a Twitter clone with a Dalo. Uh, finance. We are in the midst of doing quite a few things with finance. Um, you can do quite a few things with homes because you can connect to third-party APIs. We are currently connecting Adalo apps with bank accounts right now. Um, that's in progress, so that's a very big deal. Um, budget tracking, great uh, use case in Adalo. That you might want to. Uh, use Airtable as a backend for that because then you can get some more analytics and some more stuff out of it, but you could build an Adalo app for that. In short, I think, you know, uh, out of the things I see in the app store, especially amongst the most popular apps, a vast majority of them you could build on Adalo. There are more features and more complexities that might be, might not make sense, 
but there's only maybe two or three big areas that I would say don't build that out type on a dollar. So I hope that's really useful. If you have any questions or any other app types you think that we should review, whether you can build it on a dollar, let me know in the comment section below. We also build a ton of these as just clones for our Nodalo course. So if you want to see a clone built, let me know what type of clone you, you're interested in seeing. And I'll go and I'll try and build it and, and see if we can build it or not. Usually I can tell you before I even start if it's possible. And then watch out for the second video of this where we go through everything that you cannot build in Adalo because that's probably just as important. Thanks. Cheers.